Hi, welcome to the part one of the database level 100 lesson. My name is Sanjay Narvekar. I'm a product manager in the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure team. Here's a quick look at the safe harbor statement. In today's lesson, you'll be learning about the various options of deploying database systems in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. You'll learn about the different features of database service and you'll also learn how to launch a OneNote database system in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Oracle Cloud Infrastructure database service is mission critical enterprise grade cloud database service with comprehensive offerings to cover all enterprise database needs. We have different services like Exadata, bare metal, virtual machine database systems. You can deploy real application clusters for virtual machines and our Exadata also has the ability for customers to deploy real application clusters. We provide complete lifecycle automation which includes provisioning databases at the click of a button, patching databases at the click of a button, and you have the ability to restore your database from backups uh, at the click of a button. If you want high availability and scalability for your databases, we have real application clusters and Oracle Data Guard. For customers that have workloads that need CPUs to scale up and down, you can do that with uh, dynamic CPU scaling. And uh, you can also scale up storage for your databases. In terms of security, the OCI database service is well integrated into the infrastructure identity and access management service. You can use security lists in the VCNs to control the flow of traffic. And uh, OCI DB service is also integrated into the audit log service. For customers that want to know more about how security is done in the database, all the database additions in Oracle database service from standard edition to the enterprise edition extreme performance package have transparent data encryption built in, which means that the database files are encrypted at rest. You can also encrypt the RMAN backups and we have encryption turned on for the block volumes as well. OCI database service is also integrated into the OCI platform for tagging, limits, and usage integration. Customers can bring their own license or use the license included model when deploying databases in OCI database service. Let us now look at the VM database system. There are two types of database systems on virtual machines. The first one is a one node VM DB system, which consists of one virtual machine. And the second one is a two node VM DB system, which consists of two VMs clustered with real application clusters or rack enabled. VM DB systems can have only a single database home, which in turn can have only a single database. The amount of memory allocation for the VM DB system depends on the VM shape selected during the provisioning process. The size of storage is specified when you launch a VM DB system and you can scale up the storage as needed at any time. However, note that the number of CPU cores on an existing VM DB system cannot be changed at this time. If you are launching a DB system with a virtual machine shape, you have the option of selecting an older database version. You have to check the display all database versions to include older database versions in the drop down list of database version choices when you're going through the provisioning process. When a two node rack VM DB system is provisioned, the system assigns each node to a different fault domain 
by default. Data Guard within and across availability domains is available for VMDB systems. This requires database enterprise edition. Let's now look at the VMDB systems storage architecture. VMDB systems uses the block storage service for the database storage. It uses ASM on top of the OCI block volumes for mirroring data. Block volumes are mounted to the VMs using iSCSI and ASM uses the external redundancy relying on the triple mirroring of the block storage. When the ASM disk groups are carved out, different block storage volumes are used for the data and reco disk groups. Let's now look at the VMDB systems storage architecture for the fast provisioning option. This also uses the block storage service for the disks required for the VM shapes. The Linux logical volume manager manages the file systems used by the database for storing database files, read logs, etc. Block volumes are mounted using the iSCSI. And note that the available storage value you specify during provisioning determines the maximum storage available through scaling and I have a note down there at the bottom of the slide for more information in this uh, regard. VM rack DB systems cannot be deployed using this option because uh, we need the grid infrastructure for deploying real application clusters. Currently we support Oracle Database 18C and 19C releases when you use the fast provisioning option for deploying your VMDB system. Let's now look at the bare metal DB systems. Bare metal DB systems rely on the bare metal servers running Oracle Linux. It's a one node database system which runs on a single bare metal server and has locally attached 51 terabyte NVMe storage and you start with two cores and you can scale up or down OCPUs based on requirement. For a bare metal server X7 shape, you have 52 CPU cores available with 768 gigabytes of RAM. If you're running database enterprise edition, you can use data guard within and across availability domains. If a single node fails, you'll have to launch another system and restore the databases from current backups. Let's now look at the bare metal DB system storage architecture. As I mentioned in the previous slide, the bare metal DB systems relies on locally attached NVMe SSD drives. So the ASM uses these drives to carve out the data and record disk groups and ASM manages the mirroring of the NVMe disks. ASM will monitor the disk for hard and soft failures and it will proactively offline disks that failed or predicted to fail or are performing poorly and it performs corrective actions if possible. In the case of disk failure, the DB system automatically creates an internal ticket and notifies the internal team to contact the customer. These actions ensure highest level availability and performance at all times. Let's now look at the Exadata DB systems. When you deploy an Exadata DB system in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, you get Oracle Database Enterprise Edition with all the advanced options. 
Exadata DB Systems is Oracle's fastest and most available database cloud platform. You can scale out compute, scale out storage, and it has the InfiniBand switches with InfiniBand networking between the database server and the storage server. It also has the PCIe flashcards attached to the storage server for better performance. Exadata system gives complete isolation of tenants with no over provisioning. It gives customers all the benefits of the public cloud, namely it is fast to provision, it's elastic and it's web driven provisioning. Oracle experts deploy and manage the infrastructure. Oracle manages Exadata infrastructure, namely the servers, the storage, networking, firmware, hypervisor, etc. You can specify zero cores when you launch Exadata. This will provision and immediately stop the Exadata service. You are built for the Exadata infrastructure for the first month and then by the hour after that. Each OCPU you add to the system is built by the hour from the time you add it. Scaling from quarter rack to a half rack or from half to a full rack requires that the data associated with database deployment is backed up and restored on a different Exadata DB system. The table below gives you a comparison between the different Exadata DB system offerings on Oracle Cloud infrastructure. The Exadata DB systems use the local storage for the ASM. When backups are provisioned on Exadata storage, 40% of the available storage space is allocated to data disk group and 60% allocated to the Rico disk group. When backups are not provisioned on Exadata storage, 80% of the available storage space is allocated to the data disk group and 20% is allocated to the Rico disk group. After the storage is configured, the only way to adjust the allocation without reconfiguring the whole environment is by submitting a service request to Oracle. This slide shows you the comparison between the three different offerings of virtual machine bare metal and exadata on oracle cloud infrastructure when it comes to the various capabilities of uh, scaling storage cores the ability to have multiple database homes and databases in the service as well as uh, high availability and uh, disaster recovery features In this slide, you see the various DB system offerings in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure as well as the different database additions and also the bring your own license model support for the different database systems in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. In this slide, you will see that Transparent data encryption is available in all the database editions that is available in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Also note that as you go from left to right, with Enterprise Edition, you get all the standard Enterprise Edition features, but in addition to that, you get data masking and subsetting pack diagnostics and tuning pack as well as real application testing and for customers that are used to deploying Oracle database enterprise edition on premises you are probably aware that you need to license the additional enterprise manager packs like data masking and subsetting diagnostics and tuning real application testing separately before you start using it on premises but on OCI, you get this additional functionality bundled during uh, the deployment of uh, 
database enterprise edition on OCR. Now from enterprise edition as you go on to the enterprise edition high performance package you'll also get all the features of enterprise edition which you saw on the left side and in addition you get the multi-tenant option which is available in database 12c and higher you also get partitioning advanced compression advanced security label security database vault as well as olap advanced analytics spatial and graph and the remaining management packs for enterprise manager and then finally once you get to the enterprise edition extreme performance this will give you everything that is there in enterprise edition high performance but you'll also get real application clusters the in-memory option which is available in database edition 12c and higher and you also get active data card thanks for watching this video